everyone. My name is Crystal Williams, and I am just so elated to be a part of the Right Woman Book Fest. To learn more about the Book Fest itself, definitely go to www.therightwomanbookfest.org. So, I am here to tell you all about my book entitled Soul Ignition. This is my intellectual poetry book where I give you tips, tricks, strategies on how to be the best version of you. And the best way I can really tell you about this entire book is to actually read a poem for you. And I'm going to read a poem that really tells you what you're going to get out of this book, okay? All right, so this book, this, this book, Soul Ignition, will make you take a look at the very soul that stares back at you in the mirror. The words on the page are so intriguing that they will make you bring the book nearer to your eyes. As you intake the encouraging words and answer prompts that elevate your mind to think clearer, you see these poetic expressions will uplift you and help you to use your gifts. These poetic expressions will encourage you to answer the call boldly and execute boldly. These poetic expressions will shift your mind, leaving you no choice but to get on your grind. These poetic expressions will encourage you to not just survive, but thrive in your career, business, and overall life. These poetic expressions will ignite your soul and will reveal that God is the one that holds the key to your soul ignition. By the way, that's the name of the book, Soul Ignition. That's the name of the book that'll give you tons of inspiration and have you speaking life into your situation. And you know, and you see, I'm on a mission to inspire and empower you to be the best version of you. So get the book, Soul Ignition. All right, you all, that was just an intro of what the book is. And of course, being a poet, Poetic, <laughs> being a poetic mind has to give you in poem form, right? In poem form. Okay, so about this book, more about this book. I definitely wanted to come to you today to give you a reading of a few. Well, all of them are my favorite poems, but I wanted to give you a few of the poems that have been really resonated in my mind through some conversations I've had with colleagues and clients in my career coaching business entitled the U Brand Academy. All right, so this first poem I want to read for you all is entitled Unapologetically Growing. So many people that I've talked to often apologize for growing, often apologize for being the best version of themselves. They often apologize for uh, excelling through life. And I just want to be the person to tell you, do not apologize for growing. Don't apologize for, you know, being the best version of yourself. Don't apologize for desiring more for your future and for generations to come. So this poem is entitled Unapologetically Growing to encourage you to stop and stop apologizing for your greatness. Stop apologizing for your brilliance, okay? All right. So Unapologetically growing. Oh, and this is the book cover. Sorry, I didn't show it at first. Growing doesn't feel good, but you're growing and it's showing. You're growing, yeah, you. You're growing and it's showing. So a round of applause for you. A round of applause for you. For doing and pursuing what God has told you to do. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. No, it ain't going to be easy, but it ain't meant to be easy because necessary pain is the ingredient for change, especially when you're growing and it's showing. 
It's growing and it's showing in your character. It's growing and it's showing in your actions. It's growing and it's showing in your words. It's growing and it's showing in your work ethic. You're growing and it's showing to the world. Yeah, they might not understand what you're going through. They might not understand what you're doing. But it's okay. They'll get hit to it real soon. God does. He understands. He understands because he told you to do it. Yeah. So you understand who you are because of whose you are. You understand that what you're doing is not in vain. So the pain you're experiencing is necessary for change. How great is our God? Mm. How great is our God despite the odds that we face on a day-to-day basis, despite where the journey is taking you? Where the journey is taking you is somewhere new. But I declare and decree that God will do a new thing in you. Never waver, never give up, never give in. You have too much that God has put within And it needs to just emerge. So guess what? You got to be purged. You got to be purged of all the iniquities, of all the sin, of all the doubt, of all the negativity that you got within you right now. So in a few, you'll be saying, wow. (laughs) Just like that, God's got your back and will forever have your back. During this growing season, just seek him first. Seek him first and continue to rehearse what he has given to you, given to your heart. Because what you're doing, you're doing your part. When you're doing your part, God will do his part. Faith without works is dead. And guess what? You finally got it in your head (laughs) that you are going to start and do your part. Pause here and laugh. (laughs) I'm talking to you. Pause here and laugh. Because you should find some joy in this message. Because that's what it is. Joy. Joy that the world can't take away. Because the world didn't give it. Joy so deep within that got you smiling from here to there. With such a strong grin on your face that nobody could ever erase because the joy you have they didn't give it to you but god did god did that god did that man can't nobody get no credit god gets all the credits because what god said will be done now i must warn you that your plans may not be the way you want it to be but trust and believe it will be a miraculous thing You must realize that God is in control and only he knows what the future holds for you. So don't get discouraged. Don't get dismayed. For the game of life must be played by you. Yes, you. The MVP, the true MVP of your life, the true MVP who God has bestowed so much. And it's just waiting for you to go. Move forward. Get on the course to do you unapologetically, of course. (laughs) And be the person you were meant to be with no remorse. And that concludes Unapologetically Growing. So I hope that it definitely encouraged you to stop apologizing for the growth. For the growth that you will continue to go through throughout your life's journey. All right, and the next poem I want to read for you is entitled The Cost of an Idle Mind. So let's just put these two together. So the first poem was entitled Unapologetically Growing. Let's say, for instance, you didn't grow. Hmm. If you didn't grow, guess what that means? That means you have an idle mind. That means you have a fixed mindset instead of a growth mindset. So this poem encourages you not to just 
to not to just, you know, unapologetically stop apo- stop apologizing, apologizing, excuse me, apologizing for your growth, but this poem also tells you and gives you a little taste of the cost of an idle mind. All right, the cost of my idle mind. Oh, before I get too deep in the weeds about the cost of an idle mind, can I just tell you that an idle mind will leave you blind? Why? Well, it's due to the lack of vision and always thinking you have to ask permission of man to do or to be who God told you to be. Mm. Well, if God said it, what? That should be enough, right? <laughs> Well, not with an idle mind. This type of mindset will have you fearing the person you are becoming, or should I say could become. Oh, yes, child. An idle mind will take you off your grind. Better yet, it will leave you grind less and have you thinking your life is pointless. Have you thinking your life is without purpose and have you thinking it is what it is? And who am I to do anything about it? Mm. An idle mind will have you stuck in a forever mood of excuses Mm. that constantly celebrates fear instead of faith and have you simply surviving instead of thriving within these detours life throws us. An idle mind will, (laughs) oh, just thinking about it, (laughs) an idle mind brings me to tears. Mm. Just remembering the fears, the hurts, the pain that I eventually succumbed to. You see, that idle mind was me. (laughs) I know it's hard to believe, huh? Well, let me explain and further break it down to you. When your mind is fixed, it is idle. When your mind is idle, it is missing out and full of doubt. Always saying, am I, am I, instead of I am, I am. Now picture this, as I paint this picture of what an idle mind looks like. Imagine a brain attached to nobody, laying in an ICU room, literally unconscious, suffocating, yearning to breathe, gasping for air, and slowly dying due to the lack of growth. Mm. The lack of expansion uh, in knowledge. Knowledge that could have grown into a mansion of I am's. So much potential in that I don't mind, which absolutely blows my mind because all I had to do was cast all my cares upon God And move in faith and trust and believe what God said about me. What God whispered in my ears, here comes the tears, which are mixed with sadness and joy. Because through it all, I'm glad I'm still here to tell my story and give God the glory. By showing you that the cost of an idle mind is your purpose, your dream, your esteem, your blessings, your happiness. And ultimately, the promises God gave you of a truly abundant life. So I encourage you today and every day to not stand in your own way, but to be transformed by the renewing of your mind and be who God has called you to be. And that concludes the poem entitled, The Cost of an Idle Mind. Well, mm. That's just a teaser of what this book, my book, Soul Ignition has. And it's not just full of poetry. It's full of tactical, practical advice for you. Practical mm, action items. Practical action items for you to go through so you can truly ignite your mind And truly get to where you are called to be in your career, your business, and overall life. So thank you for taking the time to listen. And I hope that you loved everything that I was discussing tonight. And I hope that 
you will purchase my book entitled Soul Ignition. You can definitely go to the link in my page. And that is at the U Brand Academy on Instagram. And you can also go to my website, www.theubrandacademy.com and purchase my book there. All right. Hope to hear from you soon and hope that you love this book entitled Soul Ignition.